Walk with me, all right? Walk with me. Go at the same time. I'll hide behind you like they used to do. <laughs> Check and see if they're really Irish. <laughs> all right, get off. Shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Marie, Ireland. Katrina, Ireland. <laughs> Which part of Ireland are you from, ladies? The West, Sligo. Sligo? That's one of the great parts. <laughs> Is it? No, no, Mayo. Mayo? Yeah. Mayo. Oh, like. that's delicious. <laughs> Have you tried it since you've been in America? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, uh, are you on holiday in America? Uh, well, we're on like a J1 visa, it's a thing in Ireland, so you can come Well, I know what you're doing here, that's how I got here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just taking a wee holiday. <laughs> For about five years. <laughs> of course, that's not what you're doing. I like your dresses, you look very summery. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You couldn't wear these in Sligo a lot. Mm, no, not at all. <laughs> Are you enjoying life in Los Angeles? It's beautiful. It's stressful. It's stressful. The traffic. Is it stressful? The traffic. I know. Do you not long for the days where you can take your horse and buggy down to the pub? <laughs> Do people give you a very hard time with the leprechaun thing and everything? Oh, yes. Well, we just have to say potato a lot, so potato for everyone. Yes. <laughs> just like took over right there. Do you see that? It's just went potato right that. Do you know what's weird though? Because my, my uh, father's mother was from Donegal, and a lot of my family are from Ireland, and when you said potato, I kind of got turned on. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love potatoes. We're going to send you to a restaurant for free. Where is it, Michael? Uh, Mastro's Steakhouse, Beverly Hills. What, ma my, Mastro's? That's great. They've got the best potatoes there. <laughs> you can get steak and potatoes, and we're going to send you there for free. Have you got your boyfriends or something here? Just no. the two of us. No boyfriends? <laughs> Your move, American youth. Everything's fine. You have proved yourself worthy of my comedy. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, really, is it? Yeah, I just noticed the warm-up comedian. We call him a comedian, but he's not really a comedian. I notice what he does. And or he's got a sign to the audience. He does this with his hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what they go, ah, and he's going, ah, like that. So every time you go like, ah, ah, to someone, then they go crazy. Come on, laugh, please. Come on, laugh. Please. You better laugh. It works. It's unbelievable. I'm going to try that on girls. How are you doing, baby? <laughs> wow. Do you hear yeah. that? Yeah. That was girls going crazy. I'm going to I'm going to try that on dudes. <laughs> I'm going to try it on dudes too. I'm partly European. So uh, <laughs> the best part. <laughs> but all of all 
of me is American except for my junk. That's, that's right. European. That's right, yeah. Actually, in a way, that's kind of true, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Is that... A, yes, exactly. You mean you haven't... No, I haven't been. So it's fully... Absolute balaclava. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what a balaclava yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, sure. You bring a little class to the show. I like... What's that? A little class. You bring a little class. <laughs> you, you, you're on at me about not... But you're the one that says balls every five yeah, minutes. Yeah, man. I haven't said balls for months. Yeah, well, I don't listen to you anymore. <laughs> Bulls. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> also, not only is it a great day for America, it's also a great day for our friends in Jamaica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you, if you know anything about me, you know this is the day I look forward to all year. This is the big one, Jamaican Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you say it properly. <laughs> Happy Independence Day, Jamaicans. <laughs> Today in Jamaica, everyone, you know, spent the entire day smoking, drinking, having a great time. Then they remembered it was Independence Day. Do we... <laughs> Do we have a graphic for Jamaican Independence Day? There you are. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. That's the best graphic. That was banjos, man. They don't have banjos in Jamaica. It's meant to be reggae music for Jamaica. It's not like young dig a link a link dang 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 dang. I and I are going to smoke us flip. It's not like that. Hell, man. What the hell is wrong with you? No woman, no cry. Ding a ling a ling ding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, well, because when you think of Jamaica, you obviously think of banjos, apparently. <laughs> Jamaica, of course, is associated with reggae music. I actually have mixed feelings about reggae. It's pleasant enough. It makes you bob your head a little bit, but it all kind of sounds the same. A little bit like Coldplay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, this is good. <sighs> Coldplay could make a terrific reggae album if they traded Gwyneth Paltrow in for weed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on, I make a fair point. Uh, I think people uh, think that everyone in Jamaica smokes marijuana, and that's just not true. Some of them eat it. But whenever I think... <laughs> whenever I think of Jamaica, I think of the old joke. You know, my wife went to the West Indies. Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. You know that joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was, uh, you know, oh, my wife went to Indonesia. Jakarta? No, she got on a plane. There. <laughs> It's more, right, right, all right. I went looking for gold in Tokyo. Japan? No, I dug a mine. <laughs> I just took my secretary to Maine. Banger? <laughs> well, my wife's in Jamaica. Why not? Yeah! yeah. yeah. It's like a story. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the beautiful Isle of Jamaica, it's, a, it's an island nation in the, the Caribbean. Do you got a map of the area there? There you are, uh, Cuba, Guinea, Haiti, Bahamas. Uh, yeah, all, all of that there. Jamaica isn't far away from Florida, so if you go to Jamaica on a quiet night, you can hear old people in Boca Raton <laughs> laughing at CBS sitcoms. <laughs> 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 that Charlie Sheen gets younger and younger. <laughs> Must be the crack. <laughs> you know, uh, there's also great food in Jamaica, lovely food. They're known for their jerk chicken. <laughs> I tried to make jerk chicken once. It didn't taste that good, but the chicken seemed to enjoy it. What I'm saying is, yeah. what I'm saying, you see what I did? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made me laugh a little bit. Uh, now, the British ruled Jamaica until 1962. The, the British Empire had their grubby mitts and everything. They'd see and, uh, something they liked and they'd just take it. They'd be like, oh, these islands look marvelous. So I took the uh, Barbados and my, uh, my wife took the other one. Jamaica? No, she took it for her record. Ah. <laughs> see what it is? Yeah. See what it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Don't you? <laughs> no. The terms of Jamaica's independence was very simple, though. In return for the British Empire giving them back their independence, uh, Jamaica agreed to keep giving Paul McCartney weed. 
goes with the times. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Paul McCartney used to smoke a lot of weed. Did you get the photograph of Paul McCartney? There, 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 there. <laughs> Another reason I wanted to go to Jamaica, because uh, the doctor know the first James Bond movie was filmed there. Ursula Andrews coming out of the water on the Jamaican beach. What's that thing? Did you get that, that picture? Look at that, yeah. That's slightly better than me doing it, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I looked pretty good there when yeah, I did it. Yeah, eh? yeah. In that movie, they show all the beach scenes in Jamaica and all the jungle scenes in Sean Connery's chest hair. Just... <laughs> Ursula, come here. I've got a jungle on my chest. <laughs> and a rainforest in my underpants. Remember when Jamaica went in the Winter Olympics? Remember that? They had a bobsled team. Yeah, yeah. 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 No one expected them to compete in bobsledding. It'd be like, what would that be like, uh, Jeff? It'd be like uh, Paula Dean opening a museum of tolerance. Right, yeah. It'd be like... <laughs> man. The hell? Let it go, man. That happened ages ago. What the hell, man? Why'd yeah, you what you that one off on me? What the hell, man? What? What'd you, what do you mean? Made me, made me take the hit. Yeah, I made you take the hit. That's right. I made you take. I made you do the politics. I'm here joke. for you, pal. Yeah, I know you. Are. You ever been to Jamaica? Oh hell yeah! I got a uh, got a little place over there. Did <laughs> Did you buy it of your own accord? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what do you do when you go to Jamaica? Just hang out, me and uh, Sean Connery. I, I thought he was in the Bahamas now. Yeah, he he relocated. <laughs> Are you smoking a reefer right now? Yeah, I'm... Uh... <laughs> well, CBS in no way condones that. I, on the other hand, don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> Jeff and I are... <laughs> what, what, what's going on, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you, you okay? Of course, we haven't been smoking marijuana because, look, not in danger, but it's a stereotype. It's like when these Irish girls were on. They didn't look Irish, did they? No. No? no. Well, because what did you expect? A stereotype. Well, a little green costume and yeah. a little man, hey, didn't they? Where's me pot of gold? Yeah. Well, it's just a stereotype. And these girls were sober, too. They were sober. Yeah. Were, were they? Were they? I don't think they were sober, but they were definitely, they were definitely, you know. Not leprechauns. Right. They were quite tall, like that blonde girl was, was as tall as me. I'm six foot two and a bit. And, and a bit? Yeah, a, a little bit more than six a foot two. A little bit, yeah, all right. Do you have an, do you have an exact measurement on that or just, just a bit? Well, you know, about half an inch, why? Half an inch, all right. Just half an inch is important in my world. <laughs> in, your, in your world? But yeah, in my world. And if there's one thing I demand, it's precise measurements. <laughs> What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once danced under the name Jerk Chicken. <laughs> Why did you... <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, you want to, uh... You want to, uh... Yeah, that's right. I'm tapping my pipe with my mouth organ. You got a problem with that? You want to do, uh... A, a, a jingle? A jingle, yeah. All right, then, for tweets and emails. Yeah, tweets and emails. All right, then, you ready? Yeah. It really, it really sounds like Kraftwerk when we do that, yeah, doesn't it? it does, yeah. Kraftwerk, the great German electronica band. Do you think they did that before electricity was invented? Like when, when, when Germans wanted to make electronic music, they just used mouth organs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're welcome, five people. <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Lucy in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You ever been there? Oh, yeah, Green uh, Bay. I tell you, you know what I love about there? The What's cheese. The cheese. Oh, but the cheese is sensational. You know the cheese you get in Wisconsin is the best cheese in Wisconsin? In Wisconsin? Yep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 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 Lucy says, hi, Craig and Jeff. How many cats is too many? I have two and I want a third. Well, you're two past how many I think is too many. <laughs> Look, I got nothing. I don't want you to think I'm hating on cats. I don't hate, I don't hate cats. Cats are great. I love all of God's creatures. But let me tell you, go and Google cats toxoplasmosis. Go and Google that. <laughs> You'll be up all night. <laughs> Well, you're watching this, so you probably are up all yeah, night anyway, yeah. 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 Um, no, I'm not saying that cats are bad. They're not bad. They're awesome creatures, and have as many as you like. And, and keep all your receipts for the last 50 years as well, if you want. <laughs> and you'll probably want to hang on to those plastic bags. Who knows when you're going to need them? doing here is reinforcing the stereotype. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, it's not real. Do. It's not real. No. There's plenty of people who have cats who are not hoarders. Name one. <laughs> yeah, I see your point. Yeah, you see my point. <laughs> people who have cats get very angry at me. Look, I love cats. I don't know why I get drawn into this. Cats are great. I love to stroke. <laughs> You give me a little pussy in my lap, and I just want to stroke that sucker until it purrs all night. <laughs> well, this is from Hans in Leipzig, Germany. Germany? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we have to do the German accents when we receive the email from Germany, and also we must use the bell. Proceed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is from Hans. <laughs> There's nothing German about that at all, is there? Except you know and I know there is something a little bit German yeah, about that. A little bit. A little bit. Begin. All right. Hans from Leipzig says, Craig, have you ever been to Leipzig? This is an interesting question for me. I have not, unfortunately, had the pleasure of had Leipzig on my shoes. <laughs> And how did you clean off the Leipzig? It's never been on my shoes. Why don't you listen to me, you? <laughs> Have you ever been to Leipzig? No, I would like to, though. Maybe we go together. I think this is a great idea. Say it again for my pleasure. <laughs> I think we should go together. Oh, yes, I like the sound of this. There is nothing I enjoy more than putting on a bad German accent and sounding a little bit pervy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're out of time. Jeff, we've got no time. We've got two left, and we, uh, we've got no time. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. There's quickly, no there's time. There's no time. Quickly. Quickly. There's no time. Quickly. Quickly. There's no time. What did the lady say when we walk into the club, Jeff? Here come Here the blues. And then what did they say? They're so bad. <laughs> this is from uh, Kalinda in Sioux City, Iowa. She says, Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretary, our secretary... Oh, shut up. Uh, this is from Sean in Washington, D.C. He says, uh, Dear Craig, uh, and some stuff. There, well, we got it all covered. Oh, great. Making sure the horse get back all right. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a lovely actress. Her show, The Bridge, is on Wednesdays on FX. Take a look at this. <laughs> Diane Kruger, everybody. Diane Kruger. Great, 
and, and those you. shoes are sensational. Thank you. I mean, I really, that. they're like, oh. what the f I mean, really. <laughs> Are they very, very good German accent, by the oh, way. Oh, yes, I May forgot I you were German. So. I, I wasn't trying to mm -hmm. be in any way... Sure. Well, yeah. it's just, you know, people do it with me with the accent. I can hardly hear your accent at all. Oh, thanks. I can't do your accent, by the way. So. And I can't do yours either in no, no way. No, it's very good. I, I had a nice time when I was in Germany. What part of Germany are you from? Uh, close to Hanover in the north. I've been there. Really? Yeah, I've been to Hanover. and. Well, do you know, in all honesty, I was with the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I know. Well, that's a good excuse. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I was going traveling around with them, and I went to Hanover. And nice. Had they were doing time? a show, and I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. When did you move to America? Uh, on and off for the past 20 years I've been here. Really? Yeah. Gosh, you're yeah. very good at acting and stuff, aren't you? Thank you. No, you are. I remember. Oh, in Glorious Bastards was the first time I saw you when you played... Uh, the German? Yes. Her name was what, von Bridget. Hammerschmidt or something? Bridget von Hammersmark. Oh, that was great. Oh. I know. That was really fantastic. Did you have a nice time with Quentin? I know him. Yeah, I've, I've heard you're a little, obs you know, obsessed with Quentin. I'm not obsessed with him. Oh, you're talking about some, Somebody... Well, I know him. Just because I know him <laughs> and I know where he lives and I look in his window, it doesn't mean that I'm obsessed. <laughs> Is that? Do you know we talked before, of course? We have on the phone. Yes, because your boyfriend was on the show, Josh. He and was I on happened the, to. And you phoned him. I know. And he know. took the call. <laughs> That's true. You he better. He that, better. No, that would see. If you'd have been thinking ahead, you would have had a clip of that. But you don't think ahead, do you? <laughs> Do you and Josh like to, uh, you know, smoke uh, reefer and walk around outside and look at stuff? Who doesn't? <laughs> Al Qaeda. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know, sure. I do. But they're smoking the wrong. Yeah, thing. yeah, apparently it looks like yeah, a, I know. they're not chilled out. So what have you been up to then? What's going on? This, that, this is a serial killer uh, there. I can tell by the way he's talking. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, I play a very interesting character. She has Asperger's, which is a form of autism. Yes, so. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's been a, a, a real challenge. To yeah. On every Did you day. talk to anyone with Asperger's about we it? Have, we have an advisor on the show who has Asperger's and right. he helps me to not fall flat on my face. It's very difficult, isn't it? It, it's, it is. It has been pretty difficult. Very strange. Yeah. It's, it's quite an odd, uh, do we call it an, uh, an infirmity? Is it an infirmity or is it it's, a condition? It's a condition. A condition, yeah, right. It's, you know, you, uh, it is, it, it's just, it's difficult because it's so opposite of what your instincts would be, you know, like right. you can't read social cues, you can't understand why somebody would be upset if you call them ugly. You know, it's sort of like a weird... Yeah, I, I should probably get checked. <laughs> It is Hollywood. There's yeah. lots of people. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I, I think I might run into a couple of times. Um, and <laughs> it, was that Ted Levine, one of the actors there? Yes. Can you believe it? Ted Levine, who played the the all-time great performance of a serial killer in Silence of the Lambs. Very true. The lotion in the basket. Yes. Yeah. 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 That I think that is one of the greatest performances of a serial killer sure. I've ever seen. But he's not the killer in this. Well, I can't tell you. Oh, right. Why? Because you've got Asperger's? Or because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it would be a spoiler. It would be a spoiler. Right. Okay, I get yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. I hope he's not. Well, no, I, I, I'm guessing he's not, because he's already been... Oh, do you have a, a, a photograph of Ted Levine? Yeah. yeah. Show me the photograph of Ted. Look, there you go. There you are. He is. He's I, I think he, he might be the killer, though. You think? <laughs> really? Why? Look at him. <laughs> he looks like Buffalo Bill from Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch? Do you watch the serial killer? I don't. I used to watch that a lot. That kind of thing. I mean, like and read what about them and stuff. Serial, serial killers? killers. Yeah. And now yeah. I don't. I don't Why? know what. I don't know. I think it was after I had kids. I it. I uh, didn't entertain me in the same way. That's what it is. Yeah. You know. I don't have kids. I have a cat. I worry about my cat. How many cats do you have? We got one cat. That's the perfect amount. <laughs> <laughs> it took me seven years to convince Josh to get a cat. It's it's uh, tricky. Cats are tricky. Men and yeah. And now he's obsessed with a cat. I can't. Really? Oh. Like he's a cat hates me. Like he won't even. Come the cat, over the cat doesn't cat. hate you. It just, it just doesn't care about I know, you. It's just That's a, like a, a cat. It's, it's a cat. cat. It's thinking about cat things. It's thinking, where can I lie down? Where can I poo? What's no, to no. Eat? It's yeah. once we go to sleep and the cat comes into our bed and is literally between us and it's like this to me. <laughs> and then cuddles. John. What, what, what does horrible. the cat do again? Do, do what the cat does again. <laughs> That's horrible. That was great. I, you kidding me? Uh, I'd pay you for that cat. <laughs> I wish you'd given me time to flex before you started pushing <laughs> stuff around. I felt, I felt the muscles. Oh, really? Uh, I, I wish you could tell me where it was. Uh, 
We have to take a break uh, okay. and then we'll come back. We're just going to advertise some stuff, Great. some excellent products. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Diane and I were just talking about uh, cups, actually. Uh, she noticed that my cup was a little more uh, ornate. Your finger just touched me by accident. Oh, did you feel that? I, of course I did. I was like, oh, oh man. <laughs> it was like I was Josh and the cat was on the bed. <laughs> I'm a very touchy person, though. Are you really? I am. It, now, is that stereotypically German or not? No, not at right. all. Right. Like, Germans it, don't even, like, hello, wie geht's? They don't even shake hands. But yeah, the thing is, I've met a lot of Germans who are not like that at all. I was really surprised when I went to Germany and everybody was kind of like, Oh, hello, ha, ha, drink this, pour this really? down your pants. Yeah. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Um, it might be me. I yeah. don't think so. I, I didn't find them reserved at all. Oh, good. well, that's good. Yeah. good. Good. They were Bavarians, though. I was. Oh, oh, oh. Totally different. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. still Germans. <sighs> well, that's to be debated. That's a debate uh, between, you know. The north and the south. Oh, of course, because you're a northern German. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you go back there much? You and Josh go back there, walk around, smoke reefer and that kind of thing? <laughs> Hard to get reefer there where I'm from. But, you know, we do, we do. Never found it particularly difficult, to be honest. <laughs> Um, Who's your hookup? Uh, we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> anyway, it's been so long, my hookups are all dead. <laughs> mm. Or retired. Oh. oh, no, it's okay. I'm quite happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you and Josh go there and walk up and down? We do sometimes. You know, I mean, I, I'm from a very small village, so mm. it's not really Hanover. But So, you know, we go back once or twice a year. Do you go to the small village and say, hey, bitches, I'm in Hollywood. What's up? <laughs> Kind of. That's this bar um, after school that all, you know the kids would go. And, a bar after well, it's, school. Well, it's like a cafe that turns into a bar. Right. And when I was growing up, that was like the coolest bar. You could work as a, as a girl, like you become a, a waitress, and people right. thought you know only, they hired only the cutest girls. And I tried to get a job there for two years, and they wouldn't hire me. You didn't make the cut. Well. I got to see this village. <laughs> Needless to say, I make a point of going back there every single of time course. I'm in Germany. Yeah. So just just going to like, it in. oh, my rub greatest movie has just come yeah. out. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And let me give you a DVD of yeah. my latest work. Yeah. All right. Well, we're out of time. Oh, that's, that's sad. So you want me to tell me who the killer is then? Just say it. Just say it. Get it out. I can't. I can't. you got to watch. All right. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all right. It's fine. Oh, next time. Next time what? Next time I can come back. Are you going to come back then? I hope so. Oh, great. Yeah. Great, that's, that's really nice. <laughs> Is this your awkward moment? Yeah, you want to uh, do an awkward pause? A little awkward pause, and then we'll bleed into a, a comfortable moment, and then we'll just go to the commercial break with no talking at all. We could. Okay, let's do it. Too little too late, bastards. <laughs> My next guest is an Emmy-nominated actor for his role in HBO's Veep. Take a look at this. Why are you guys so tense? She's completely chill. She's out of her mind. She's coming to my parents' 40th wedding anniversary. Yeah, exactly, Gary. She's out of mind. Hey, ma'am, I canceled the donor breakfast, but I did have to come clean about you walking through the glass door. Great job, asshat. Now everyone's gonna know. Everyone's gonna find out she walked through a glass door, Dan, because she looks like she walked through a glass door. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> What's his problem? I don't know. 
Get over here, gingerbread. You know what? That St. John's one that you gave her is reacting to her antidepressants. What are you talking about? It's herbal. It's from the earth. So are mushrooms. Yeah, that's illegal drugs. That's a lot of uh -oh. cussing right there. Tony Hale, everybody. Tony Hale. Fantastic piece of news for you. Got mm. the Emmy nomination. Mm. What? What is the category best actor in a leading uh, supporting. role? Supporting. Supporting role. Yes. Well, that's I'm a bit... super stoked. I, I can imagine you are. It must no. be wonderful. It's an award. I know. I won an award in Canada once. Did you? What was it? It's a, just a thing. Just a but um, I'm but that's very good. excited. Yes. Very are you excited. gonna Are you gonna wear a fancy suit? Excuse me. <laughs> No, yes, I am. I'm gonna, somebody actually asked me, they said, are you going to wear a t-shirt or are you going to wear a tux? And I said, I don't have the muscles for a t-shirt and I need the structure of a tux. Structure of a tux. So yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. But my manager called me... You're a manager? Oh, you've gone Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> That's heavy. Excuse the no socks, by the way. Oh, why, man? Why? Oh, it's because you've had a lot of weed and no. you forgot. <laughs> yes. I am high as a kite. I am very high right now myself, and I haven't smoked a joint in 21 years. That's great. And you look fantastic, by the way. So do you. Thank you. Yeah, don't start that stuff with No, me. but you do. You look like... You look slim. I haven't been eating anything. <laughs> Nothing. Well, you know, some carrots. Okay, good. That's good. You speaking like, of, well, speaking of uh, I, we, just went to, we just went to Alabama for a month. We just got back. We? My wife and I and I see. Did and she go of her own accord? <laughs> she did. Yeah, okay, I took good. her. Okay. Um, but we, because uh, we, we were talking about how California, you eat very, very healthy and all this kind of yes, stuff. Yes, that's true. And in Alabama, that's where the good stuff is. Yeah, yeah. I... And we went to this barbecue place called Saw's Barbecue uh -huh. in Birmingham, Alabama, and this is what I ate. I had fried onions on top of barbecued pork, on top of collard greens, on top of cheese grits. <laughs> right? I just, like, in my pants, things went like that. Yeah, it's like, I know. And then we went to get pie at another barbecue called Johnny Ray's Barbecue. Yeah, and, so, uh, and you, they got this stuff for free. You said, give it to me for free, and then I'll talk about it on TV no, later no, no, on. No, 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 no. this is a surprise. But it doesn't sound fantastic. Yeah, no, it does. What kind of pie do you have? Uh, we, actually, uh, we actually split three pieces of pie. Between the two of you? I, well, I went with my brother-in-law, Jeff, and, oh. when, and my daughter, Loy. And so we had three pieces Je of pie. Jeff's your brother-in-law? Jeff, 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 Jeff. Hey, man, how's it going? Come on. Good to see you. Thank you. So good to see you. Hey, you look good. Thank you. Look Let's good. own up to it. Thanks. Thank you. Um, I didn't know you guys were in related, so no, we are. you're my dad's sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell her I said hi, will you? Yeah, tell her I, I said totally hi. will. All right, that's, gr that's great. You haven't been in contact, Jeff. What the hell are you looking at me for, okay. man? Get back. <laughs> but we went with... Um, <laughs> We went with uh, my brother-in-law and then my daughter, Loy, and we split a chocolate a cream, chocolate cream pie, coconut cream pie, and banana cream pie. Oh, see, I love that. Isn't That's that right. awesome? I love that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it was so a coconut, good. Coconut was good, was it? Yes. I like coconut. It's just fantastic. Mm, it's like yeah. barbecue. Have you ever been to House of Pies in Las Feliz here? I have. I have. They have we pies live, yeah. there. You live near House I of Pies? I live near House of Pies, yes. Do you ever go in there and just, like, go nuts? Well, they have them kind of on that circling... You yeah, the, yeah, the wheel of pies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's I know. So fantastic. Well, you don't look like someone that eats a lot of pie. I do. I yeah. Do. What do you work out? Do you do Tai Chi or something? Uh, I've decided, I do. That's my I do. new thing, Tai Chi. <laughs> do you old, really do it? Old people in the park, you know. <clears throat> do you do? But it's always groups of people. That yeah, play. yeah. It's yeah. old people. They they, they just kind of do it. I don't know what happens. Do you they, do it? I'm not that old, man. Come on. Oh, no. But yeah. you've never done it. What, Tai Chi? I've never done it. No, no, I haven't done any Tai Chi. I did some uh, other weird stuff. I did some Coke in the 80s. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that keeps the weight down as yeah. well. But, um, oh, yeah, but, um, but no Tai Chi. Do you do martial arts? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I, well, I, th I think it'd be f what? Well, you look like you're oh, well, in reasonable you. shape. I actually, uh, I, I, I... Do you walk up and down smoking reefer? I do, I do. With Diane Kruger and Josh? <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah. No, I just, um, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't exercise. I much. never, I don't know what to say either. <laughs> That's how I run this show. Okay, good. Good. 
have nothing to say, come out and well, do it for like an hour. Well, I will say from Alabama. I, I need to get back. Are you from Alabama? No. Did you my, come from Alabama? I was actually raised... With a banjo on your neck. I was, I was actually... I spent five years growing up in Germany. Actually, really? yeah, I was there. Uh, Did you do a German accent? A uh, little dog, uh, not as good as you. You've got a good one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do. Um, it's again, it's very German. I don't know why it's German, but it feels a little German. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, what part of Germany were you in? I was in Heidelberg. We lived, oh wait, two years in Berlin and three years in Heidelberg. I'd love to go to Berlin. I've never oh, been to Berlin. I lived That's before, that amazing. I was there before the wall came down. Really? It was really, really intense. However, I remember my family, we did, what's it called, a Deutschfest? Where you have, it's or a big, what's the thing where you have a lot October of beer? Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. You're right. And um, they had a big Oktoberfest, and there was a ton of beer and a ton of sausage, and we had this dog named Tuffy. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I don't know why, it's just that you're really painting a picture here. It's kind of like, wow, this is like reading a book, except without all the hard bit of turning pages and stuff. <laughs> but they had a big Oktoberfest, and they didn't clean up. And my dog, when we went, all, went to sleep, he ate all the sausage and drank all the beer. And yeah. I used to be toughy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fun, huh? And then we, we, when we woke up, we, he, he was on the kitchen floor just like this. Did he die? No, he didn't oh. die, but he was paralyzed. He was just so stuffed, so we had to have his stomach. This is quite sad, but we we had to have his stomach pumped, and he lived a much longer life. He's oh, dead well, now. He, he's dead. Oh, well, he didn't have that. He's dead now. He, he is dead now. And as you can say, and that dog went on to run a Fortune 500 company or something. He's in commercials. Now. Yeah, yeah. That horse now lives in California with his girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's dead. Ah. Oh. Uh, but at least he didn't die of sausage and beer. No, he did not die of sausage and beer. But um, although if you've got to die, it doesn't sound that bad. I can... can you imagine how uncomfortable though? Because you know dogs. Oh, just I've done like, it. No, I've done it. Really, I've done it. Just absorb it. I've woken up in kitchens like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Aren't you glad those days are over? Yeah, most of the time I am. Yeah. Sometimes it would be kind of fun. You know, every now and again I think, and then I play the film forward in my head and go, oh no, jail, institutions, yeah, yeah. death. It's, you know, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. No. We're out of time. Oh, man. Well, it's your fault. You told that big, long story about that. <laughs> oh, but listen, yeah. I'm so excited. If you win the Emmy, the good news is you never have to come back here. Oh, that's not true. Uh, well, that's not true. okay. This is a fantastic place to be. You're very good at what you do. <laughs> right? Very good. Jeffrey, ask me a question, would you? Uh, Greg? Mm hmm? What'd you think of my brother-in-law? He's a charming gentleman. <laughs> and <laughs> he'd been to Germany. Guess what I have in my pipe? What do you have in your pipe? <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have anything in my pipe. It's a smoke-free zone, CBS. CBS in no way condones the use of drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, or any other. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh -oh. You'll ever die. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>